Welcome back, d traders. Let's discuss recent developments and ongoing trends on Wall Street. The US CPI is on investors' radars today. Major stock indexes were trading mainly in the red in the American pre market. However, in the early trading hours, they tried to win back losses in on Monday. Wall Street opened this week on a pessimistic note. The Dow Jones closed 1.2% down on Monday. The Nasdaq incurred the heaviest loss of 2.2%, and the S&P 500 shed 1.7% to close at 4,418 points. The index is expected to trade in the Canada between 4,370 and 4,450 points today. The doom and gloom in the United States stock market it is caused by the hawkish Fed's agenda and the threat of recession. Economic risks are festered by the lack of progress in the peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. Moreover, some statements of policymakers and the combat situation indicate further escalation of the conflict. Austria's chancellor said indirectly yesterday that the ceasefire is still out of the question. His face-to-face -face talks with Vladimir Putin ended in nothing. Europe and the United States are braced for more aggression. Stock in investors shifted focus away from geopolitics towards the economic calendar. Today, investors got to know red-hot inflation data. The annual rate of United States consumer inflation accelerated to 8.5% in line with the expectations. The fresh score is the strongest CPI since December 1981. The consensus suggested a slightly lower figure at 8.4% and the energy company surged by 32% and the food company increased by 8.8%, the fastest annual rate in the last 40 years since May 1981. Consumer prices grew by 1.2% percent on rents, the highest growth since September 2005. And this reading matches expectations, and no doubt such dismal data increases the likelihood of aggressive monetary tightening in May. And this does not bode well uh, for the stock market. The US dollar index has settled at around 100 points, so the odds are that the greenback is set to advance across the boat. Its index is likely to trade in the Canada between 99.70 and 100.30 today. The Fed's minutes released last week alongside remarks from some Fed's officials clearly indicate that soaring inflation will lead to the single or even several rate hikes by 50 basis points. In this context, yields of 10-year treasuries topped 2.8%, the highest level in three years. In turn, it reinforced the rally on the US dollar. Experts share the bullish outlook for the greenback until soaring inflation is raging across the United States and the geopolitics create uncertainty. Later today, traders will take notice of a survey on the energy market and remarks of the Fed's officials Lyle Brainard and Tom Barkin. Their comments will hardly influence the market stronger than inflation fears. Judging by the rhetoric of other Fed's policymakers, none of them advocates for the dovish policy and the regulator is ready to resort to drastic measures. The USD card paced trading higher. Yesterday it was trading at nearly 1.2640. The carry for today is seen between 1.2580 and 1.2700. Despite the firm US dollar, technical indicators warn about a downward retracement amid rising oil prices. Today, crude oil is heading to new highs. Brand crude gained 4.3%. In a few hours, to treat at $102 a barrel. WTI also surged 4.1% to trade at a uh, $98. Apart from the rally in the oil market, the loony is propped up by the prospects of a rate hike by the Bank of Canada. The central bank is due to unveil its policy decision tomorrow. And Bitcoin approached the $39,200 on Monday and pulled back.
Today, the crypto rebounded, trying to settle above $40,000, and importantly, technical indicators signal a local correction within the overall trend of the last week. The number one cryptocurrency might get stuck in a range between $40,000 and $42,000. The long term outlook remains bearish due to Bitcoin's correlation with the equity market. Investors are withdrawing funds from a risky assets, so the crypto is expected to trade lower in the Canada between $35,000 and $37,000 in the medium term. All in all, despite the faint attempts of the stock market to gain ground during the pre-market, the US inflation data does not encourage growth on Wall Street. We warn you about higher volatility during the US trading hours today. Good luck! And see you tomorrow.